Welcome to Science at FMNH, a podcast and video series that explores the behind-the-scenes science, collections, and research at Chicago's Field Museum. What events help to shape the Earth's solar system? What clues can we find in ancient meteorites to help understand Earth's earliest history? In this episode, we speak to Philip Heck on research on pre-solar grains and extraterrestrial matter. Uh, my name is Philip Heck. I'm the Robert A. Pritzker Assistant Curator for Meteoritics and Polar Studies. Yeah, we're studying pre-solar grains to understand where the material that the solar system and the Earth is made of comes from. What kind of stars formed that material. And this is, of course, the origin of all the material that is here on Earth. We had uh, different stars, generations of stars that produced uh, the material that we are made out of, that the planets are made out of. So stars are element factories, basically. The carbon that we are made up out of was formed in uh, red giant stars. The oxygen in the air that we breathe was formed in supernova explosions, explosions of massive stars, stars that are more than eight times more massive than our sun. Pre-solar matter is found in primitive extraterrestrial materials. So it's mainly unaltered meteorites, meteorites that haven't changed since they formed 4.6 billion years ago. And we also find them in little dust particles that float around in the solar system that come from uh, primitive asteroids or comets. And recently, pre-solar grains have also been discovered in comet dust that was brought back by a spacecraft. The first uh, pre-solar grains that were discovered is silicon carbide, graphite, and diamonds. So we also find diamonds on Earth, of course, but the diamonds that are pre-solar and found in the meteorites, they're much smaller. They're called nanodiamonds because they're only a few nanometers across. And it's not clear if all of them are really pre-solar. For silicon carbide, almost everything that we find in a meteorite is pre-solar. Chemically and mineralogically, they're the same as solar system material, but uh, their isotopic composition is very, very different. We use um, stable isotope cosmochemistry, stable isotope measurements to analyze pre-solar grains, and uh, we need that to identify the grains in the first place. And then we can classify them, we can determine the stellar sources, and um, the nuclear reactions that occur in these stars. After the pre-solar grains are extracted and identified, um, we can do a lot of things about, with them. And one, one recent study that we did is we're trying to date pre -solar, individual pre-solar grains. When did they form? When we measure the concentration of particular isotopes, we can calculate how long the grain was in space, so when the grain formed. We analyzed only a few dozen grains so far, and we found that the majority of these grains found, formed 200 million years before the start of the solar system or less. Only a few grains formed more, about 500 million to 1 billion years before the start of the solar system. So this, would, this is the oldest material that we can study in the lab. 